An ancient six-foot catfish, a valley in the Sahara Desert full of prehistoric fossils, and an alien skeleton found in Chile, these are more mysterious fossils that don't match any known species. In 2017, a six-foot long prehistoric catfish fossil was found buried in the sands of Egypt, a prehistoric creature that was unknown to science at the time. The catfish-like creature, now called Quaramautus hittonensis, lived about 37 million years ago. It was discovered by a team led by 26-year-old Sana El Said, a paleontologist studying fossils at Mansara University. The catfish was found during a training trip for students. The fossil was discovered back in 2011, but it wasn't until later that specialized students could study it in more detail. The fossil is really well preserved, with parts of its skull, spine, and its fins still intact. Some of the bones, like the left side of the skull, are almost perfectly preserved. The fossil also has pieces like dorsal spines and vertebrae from the same fish. El Said's study points out that Quarmodus is the oldest and most complete marine catfish from the Paleogene period found in the area. What's also really interesting is that the catfish had traits no other African fish from the same time period has, which makes it a pretty unique find in the world of paleontology. Sticking with the Sahara Desert for a moment, let's talk about Wadi Al Tan, also known as Whale Valley. The area is home to some of the most amazing fossils, like the one we just talked about. The place is like a time capsule, showing how whales evolved from land mammals into the sea creatures that we know today. Fossils of ancient whales like Basilosaurus and Darudon have been found here, along with remains of sea cows, elephants, crocodiles, sea turtles, and sea snakes. What makes this site so incredible, and aside from how many fossils there are, is how well preserved they are too. Some actually still have their stomach contents intact, so researchers know exactly what these creatures ate. One of the most fascinating discoveries is the remains of Archaeoceti, an ancient proto-whale that would have lived on both land and sea. These creatures lived millions of years ago and actually had legs. One fossil found in Whale Valley was about 69 feet long, and it still had toes and feet. This is huge because it shows that whales didn't start out as ocean animals. They lived on land and then transitioned to the sea. In 2003, archaeologists came across a mysterious mummified skeleton in Chile's Atacama Desert. At first, the thing looked to be human, but the more they looked at it, the more they realized how strange it really was. It was so strange, they actually started to wonder if the skeleton had ever belonged to a human at all. It had 10 ribs instead of 12. These extra large eye sockets and a strangely elongated skull that ended in a point. And the thing was just really small. When the story of the find came out in the news, the big headline was that they may have found an alien skeleton. The thing was even featured in a 2013 UFO documentary. For years, UFO buffs pushed the idea that this was proof of extraterrestrial life. But in 2018, DNA testing shattered those theories. The results showed the skeleton was 100% human, belonging to a young female who'd lived about five 500 years before. What made her so different was a genetic mutation that caused abnormal bone development, including the shape of her skull. Next up, we have an extinct species that became known as the devil frog. The devil frog, or if you want to use the scientific term, which I don't, Bill's buffo is one of the most jaw-dropping frog fossils ever discovered. Found in Madagascar, this 70 million year old giant would have weighed around 10 pounds and could grow as tall as 41 centimeters, roughly 16 inches. Just imagine how far that frog could leap. Or don't, if you value a good night's sleep. The fossil was first discovered in 1993 by David W. Krauss and his team, and over the years, scientists have pieced together parts of its skeleton, including a nearly complete skull. Not only were these frogs big, they were also predators. With its massive mouth, it likely fed on pretty big prey. It could have snacked on juvenile dinosaurs, even. And what's crazier is the force behind this frog's bite. Based on studies of its skull, researchers estimate that the bite force of a a large devil frog could range from 500 to 2,200 newtons, which is about 110 to 490 pounds of force. For comparison, 
that's stronger than some modern day predators. A bizarre and mysterious set of skeletal remains washed ashore on an Australian beach a couple years ago, and it left a lot of people wondering. The creature's body, found in Keppel Sands, Queensland, didn't seem to resemble any known creature. Bobby Lee Oates, who discovered the remains, described it as, quote, exactly like a mermaid shape with a human-like skull attached to a long serpentine body. She was shocked by the sight, especially the skull which she said, quote, looked to be in the shape of a human's. The remains were about six feet long with an elongated jawline and what seemed like hair, though it had mostly decomposed. Oates also mentioned that the creature appeared to have some kind of tail or limb, adding to the strange, almost mythical appearance. Marine experts like Rob DeVille, a project manager at the Zoological Society of London, took a look at the photos saying, definitely looks like a small cetacean to me, end quote. He didn't have enough detail Details about local species, but he seemed pretty sure it was some kind of marine mammal, not a mythical sea creature, unfortunately. Still, they haven't definitively identified the thing, so there's still some room for wishful thinking. A recent discovery has found that this bizarre shark lived about 93 million years ago, and it's unlike anything we've seen before. Fossils of the species called Aquil Olamna malarque, or the eagle shark, were found in Mexico. What made this creature are so unusual were its wing-like pectoral fins, which made the shark almost look like a modern-day manta ray. But these things lived long before those rays ever existed. According to Romain Vulo, the lead researcher, one of the most striking features of the creature is that it has very long, slender pectoral fins. These fins gave the shark a very unique look, making it wider than long, with a wingspan of about 6.2 feet, even though its body was only 5.4 feet in length. These sharks wouldn't have been like today's fast predators. Instead, they probably swim slowly, filtering plankton from the water, similar to how manta rays do today. The eagle shark had a short head, very wide mouth, and a body that was built for slow swimming, probably using those long fins for stability or maybe even flapping them to move forward. The lack of any preserved teeth makes it hard to pin down exactly what this shark was, but they were pretty confident that it was a filter feeder. Next up, we have Mona Lisa. And no, I'm not talking about the painting. I'm talking about a supposed mummified alien astronauts discovered on the moon, and it all centers around a secretive mission called Apollo 20. According to the story, Apollo 20 was a top secret mission NASA conducted in the mid to late 70s after the official Apollo program ended. The theory claims the mission went to the moon and found some stuff, including an alien craft. But the most outlandish part? Well, supposedly they found a mummified alien girl with six fingers, a bump right in the middle of her forehead, and oversized eyes. According to the conspiracy, NASA kept this discovery under wraps and the whole mission was covered up. But a man named William Rutledge, who claims to be a retired astronaut, came out saying that he was part of the Apollo 20 crew and even uploaded a video in 2007 showing what he said was footage of the alien body. The government, of course, has always denied the story, and there's no solid proof that Apollo 20 ever actually happened. Still, fans of the theory point to the Mona Lisa as proof that we're not alone and that NASA's just hiding the truth. Do you like millipedes? Has anyone on planet Earth ever answered yes to that question? I'd like to say no, but realistically, there's probably like four people who do. Well, for the rest of us, this image here probably makes you gag. Yes, this is a recreation of a giant millipede that once roamed the Earth. Imagine a millipede the size of a car crawling across the beach. That's what scientists found in England in 2021. Well, the fossilized remains, anyway. Thank God they didn't find an actual one. The thing would have been over eight feet long, weighing in at about 110 pounds. These massive creatures, known as Arthropleura, lived about 100 million years ago, long before dinosaurs were walking the Earth. The fossil was discovered by chance at Howick Bay, Northumberland. Scientists were there to study rocks when they spotted a boulder that had split open, revealing the millipede fossil inside. The find was only the third of its kind and the first in England. While these giant millipedes mostly ate plants, 
They were big enough to munch on small animals too. As for why they were so big, it was probably because of the higher oxygen levels in the atmosphere during their time, which allowed creatures like this monstrosity to grow to horrifying sizes. In August of 2022, while walking along Cape Egmont Beach on Prince Edward Island, Lisa Cormier found something unusual. At first, she thought it was just a tree root sticking out of the sand, but when she got closer, she realized it was actually a rib cage, a spine, and a skull. After snapping some photos, she sent them to fossil experts, who quickly showed up to investigate. The scientists confirmed that the bones came from a reptile that lived nearly 300 million years ago during the Carboniferous period, so this discovery is actually older than dinosaur fossils. Though the bones are quite well preserved, no one is exactly sure which species they belong to yet. It's even possible that this fossil could belong to a completely new species. As of now, the fossil is being studied in a paleontology lab, and it'll probably help us learn more about the creatures who were roaming around long before dinosaurs walked the Earth. In 2017, while overseeing construction on his property in Portugal, a man noticed bone fragments sticking out of the ground. He contacted local scientists, and what followed was an excavation that stretched over several years. By 2022, researchers confirmed the bones belonged to a massive 82 foot long sauropod from around 160 million years ago. So far, they've uncovered vertebrae and ribs, with each rib measuring nearly 10 feet long, making them the largest sauropod ribs ever found in Europe. As of the last update, the excavation is still ongoing. With all that said, I've been your host, James. I'll catch you, yes, you specifically, in the next video.